A priest prays and blesses the faithful at the Subramaniam Chetia Hindu temple in Kuala Lumpur. Muslims, Christians and Buddhists watch from the sideline. But they are not tourists. All of them are Malaysians. Their guide explains the story behind each statue in the Malay language. The tour is set up by a young Malaysian group called Project Dialogue to promote national unity. They will visit five places of worship today. From this church, there is a mosque and temple within walking distance. Malaysia certainly looks like a multi-faith country. But Muslims, Christians and Buddhists are becoming segregated. Marvin is a Christian. He's never been to a Sikh temple before and struggles to cover his hair. Others feel just as awkward. Just look at how cautiously they move into the prayer area. Even the schooling, the systems, when I'm studying in the schools, we only learn in one or two pages only the basic things, what about other religions. But until today that I do know about what's uh, their respect and what we supposed to respect about them. And uh, uh, the opportunity to get to know about, their, about other religions and their other cultures is very less. Maybe personally we are scared or we, we fear of the unknown. That's why we don't really dare to like, ask people about their religion because we're scared that it might be a sensitive issue to talk about. In Malaysia, religion is closely linked with race. Many things become taboo, like whether non-Muslims can share their food with Muslims. Nobody talks about how united we are. The sense of unity that we are talking about, that you mind your business, I mind my business, I be my Indian self, I be my Hindu self, and we are not looking at how much we interact with each other. Uthaya Sankar started these tours a few years ago, and more youth groups are doing the same. They want a safe space where Malaysians can talk about religion and show that Buddhists, Muslims and Hindus can pray side by side at a Chinese temple. At the mosque, a Muslim participant explains how to clean before prayer and helps non-Muslims to do the same. These scenes are so rare that the organizer posts the pictures online right away. Last stop, the Sri Lanka Buddhist temple. Religion has a big presence in the lives of Malaysians. So what do they think of the tour? Going down to all these different religious uh, places, places of worship, I realized that a lot, none of them actually preach hatred towards other religion and none of them say that, oh, you know, uh, this is... Uh, this is our religion, we are exclusive. But I think I, I was surprised how bit. For example, the Sikh, the Sikh temple, uh, doesn't look like uh, how I, that the stereotypical temple that I've thought about before. It's very similar to a mosque, actually. It's like, it's a very open space and there's a, some place for the book in front. Organizers hope more young people will spread this message that Malaysians have more in common with each other than they think.